what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. So this may be it. This may be the episode we actually do a job. Because as you know, we had to come out of retirement early due to the fact that Michael being the uh, guy he is that just jumps out on a limb and does whatever he wants when he's angry, he tore down Martin's girlfriend's house in the hills and we kind of owe the guy $2.5 million. So what are you gonna do? And uh, this guy seems to be a little drunk. You know, it's not really wise walking around the city of Los Santos intoxicated, especially when I can beat your ass like that. I think there was something in that bottle besides liquor. He looks like a crackhead, but either way, last time we got a van, a pest control van, and um, we have plans to go basically into the jewelry store and uh, use knockout gas, basically incapacitate the entire staff, and then casually walk in and take whatever we want. I mean, it sounds good in theory, but uh, trying to rob a jewelry store midday, it's probably going to end in a gunfight, let's be honest. So, uh, that's what we did last time. We got the van, we cased out the uh, jewelry store, and now we just need to go down here and pick up the knockout gas. And again, I think this is all gonna go south, but uh, what can you do? It's been a while since Michael's done a job. I think it's better for us to go in prepared and stealthy instead of loud and proud, which is what we did last time. And well, we all know how that turned out. So I'm gonna go down here, grab the gas, and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, the van is right up ahead with the knockout gas I so desire. Uh, excuse me, sir, you wouldn't mind if I rob you of your knockout gas or research gas because I desperately need it. Pull over, sir. Official police business. What's that? Why am I driving a drop top mini? Pull well, you over see, right now. all the police cars were taken at the, uh, the, the lot, so please believe me. I have official police coffee. You can see two coffee cups from Starbucks. I, I know I don't have donuts and that's very suspicious, but sir, I need your gas. Give me your gas. Sounds very dirty, does it not? Well, listen, I can't help that. I need the gas. I'm trying to not rob a jewelry store the stealthy way, which I know that doesn't make much sense, but trust me You're on this, okay? To piss me off. Official police business to get out of the goddamn van. Don't make me say it twice. I was gonna, oh, oh, he's on the move. No, 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 no. You bring that van back here. Where do you think you're going, bud? Are you serious? Michael, you've gotta learn to be a little bit faster when you're trying to pull someone from a moving vehicle. This guy, he's been in retirement way too long. It's fine, I'll get this guy. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any guns, so I can't exactly shoot the tires out. Not that I would want to, because I'm pretty sure the cops are gonna be called and then, uh, well, trying to escape in a giant van that weighs three million tons with shot out tires, it's not ideal. Sir, I'm only gonna say it one more time. Official police business. Pull over. Give me your gas. Come on, there we go. In, out, the <laughs> fucking way. I don't know how that worked. Oh my God, there's so many officers. Hey, can you not, can you not? Get out, get out, get out. That's right, that's it's right, get out of the van. Gas. Walk away. I have so many police officers on me. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Lose the cops. Easier said than done. I'm supposed to just drive a 300 ton van away from extremely fast police cars. Makes sense. It's definitely going to happen, actually. Ooh, maybe it can. The cops aren't quite on to me yet. Uh. Maybe I can pull into one of these lots and hide? Oh, this might work. Holy shit, no way. Yeah, okay, let's go down here. Last time, when I stole the pest control van, they called about a bajillion cops, which makes no sense. I mean, if you were a police officer, why would you scramble to a call about a stolen pest control van? Drop off the van at uh, the garment factory. That was so easy. What the hell? So, hold up, let me get this straight. When I steal a pathetic pest control van, 10 million police officers and helicopters conduct a manhunt to try and stop me. And then when I steal a van full of experimental Fuck knockout you, you gas, or whatever the hell's in here, I can lose the cops in two seconds. No wonder Los Santos has so much crime. The police force here are completely incompetent. They shoot you for stealing a candy bar from a gas station, and they let you off the hook when you're stealing knockout gas. Incredible. 
Either way, I'm gonna drive to the garment factory and uh, in 2,000 years when my van finally gets there because this thing is slow, then we'll see what's next. 2,000 years later. Okay, well that was fun. You know how I thought it was a little too easy that I got away from the comps? Well, guess what happened immediately afterwards? They must have ID'd the van because I passed a police officer and there was an entire chase and then I died. So I had to do the whole mission over again. And uh, finally, I've got the van. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that took so long. But uh, we've got the van, we've got the knockout gas and we should be good to go on a heist. Just call Lester up. Hey, Lest. I got the good night guess. That's everything we need. I'll put out word that the score is ready to go. Okay, well, that's fun. Um, I don't know why it always says this. Autosave slot already contains autosave. Yeah, I know that. Stop. If anybody knows why that's happening with the autosaves, leave a comment down below because it is really annoying. But I think now we have everything we need for the job. We case the jewelry store, we have the knockout gas, and the very useless van we stole. Kind of pointless. Hopefully the cops don't put it all together. Now we all know <laughs> why we're here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple, elegant. Listen to Lester, pay attention to the information he gives you, and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized, we don't know each other, we got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. It's not going to be an issue because everything's going to go just fine. The, um, <laughs> the uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael. He makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep. No problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? Uh, yeah, what no? does that mean? Let's go. With force? Oh, shit, this job is a thousand percent going south. Frank, you're with me. Paige, you're in the truck with the bikes. Eddie, Norm, you got the van. Oh my god. These people are hideous. Franklin, how does it See feel being only solo people? Initials only from here on out. Being only one of two sexy motherfuckers in this room. I mean, this blob of fat jelly Angelica over here. Awaits. Ugly in every single aspect. Jesus, and these people, I mean, my god. What's wrong with you? You guys look like you had your face pounded in by a shovel or something. <laughs> Okay, Franklin, this is no longer small time robbery. We're not boosting cars or stealing cash out of wallets. We're going balls to the wall and it's probably gonna end in a massive shootout. You know what I'm saying? But I trust you, cause you got a sexy face. In fact, we are the only sexy people here. So we need to stick together. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Chop, chop. Time to get some jewels. Look at Franklin. He is so cool, calm and collective. <laughs> Oh, he's like, man, I've done this before. Actually, no, you haven't. You really haven't done much of anything. Although you did try and repo a bike that ended in a huge slaughter, so maybe you actually have what it takes to be a big time robber. Big time thief. Big time con? How can I say that without it sounding like a complete piece of shit human? Big time league? I don't know. Either way, we're about to do some serious stuff. He's so calm. It's like I'm about to drop him off at a baseball game or something to watch, not be in or school. It's it's like he's done this a million times. God damn it. You are composed, Franklin. Go to the jewelry store. All right, all right. We're doing it. We're about to go in and make some serious money. I hope. All right, I don't know why we needed that van. I got it. Because you use too much gas on these guys, you'll kill them. Well, shit, don't blame me the way these canisters is mixed. Just be careful. <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen, I stuck my neck out for you here. Man, you don't need to tell me that shit again. <laughs> I got faith in you, F, but you're unproven. Unproven? For real? So I didn't prove myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Yeah, but these guys don't know you. They see some gangbanger with a happy trigger finger. They got money and their freedom on the line. I ain't gonna fuck this up, man. Good. I got enough shit to worry about. Hey, Mike, you worried? Did you pick the wrong people to come along on this? Remains to be seen. 
We'll have a good driver waiting outside with bikes, and they'll lead you out of there. The hacker should earn their paycheck by getting us longer inside, but the gun? Eh, questionable. Well, everyone in the store is gonna be out. You won't need no crowd control. Maybe, but they're still part of the team. They cost us, I'll regret it. No, 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 they cost us, and they'll regret it. I mean, I tried to hire the best people out of the lineup, but the, uh, the gunner, like, there was no option for anyone that could handle a gun that had any amount of skill. They were all super low-tier, unskilled rookies, so, uh, if anyone messes this up, it's gonna be the guy handling the guns. Why do we even need anyone with guns, as a matter of fact? I'm pretty sure we can all take care of ourselves. But, uh, I guess that remains to be seen. One thing's for sure, I definitely trust Franklin. I think he's got what it takes. Not that that's a good thing, because we're criminals, but still. We are gonna make a dynamite team together, Franklin. Me and you. We're gonna make so much money. Assuming this doesn't go south. And I'm calling it now, this job is going to go south extremely quickly. Alright, this quickly. is it up there. There's a way through the site, up to the roof. Man, we went over this. I'm cool. Oh, he's done his homework. Okay, I believe you. You studied up. Good job, maybe you can get an A+. Alright, when the gas is in the ventilation system, give us the word. For sure, man. I got it. Alright, for sure, man. Let's go do it. Again, I don't understand why we had to steal the van. You could pretty much grab any van, slap a logo on it, and then make your own jumpsuit. <laughs> uh, it just seems Excuse a little Excuse me! Exterminator! Well, that's one way to announce yourself. Hey, it's me! The Exterminator! Hey, there ain't no one around. That suits us. Come on, get up to the roof. Maybe I'm stupid, but why would an exterminator need to even be on a roof? Like, what are you trying to exterminate? <laughs> birds? All those pesky birds, gotta really exterminate them. <laughs> Pulls out a 12 gauge shotgun. Speaking of birds. <laughs> okay, this should be relatively simple. Actually, I'm not even doing the hard job. All I have to do is drop the present through the window. Now, how could I possibly mess that up? I shouldn't be able to, right? I'm definitely gonna mess it up. How you doing up there? Man, just give me a minute. Almost there. We're in position, waiting on your signal. Just gotta get where I can throw this. You gotta give me a minute here, fam. Do I look like I'm a parkour expert? Oh, I have to throw it? Oh, I can't drop it in. Ooh. This may actually require accuracy. Aim. No! <laughs> Franklin, you idiot! I know, that was all on me, but I, I, I stopped pushing the joystick and my character just kept going because Franklin has a death wish. Okay, let's try this again, except this time, Franklin, don't uh, commit suicide. I, I realize you think the plan will probably go awry and everything will go wrong, but just wait until something bad happens BEFORE you toss What's yourself off you? the building. Sit tight. Yeah, sit tight, Michael. Calm down. I'm a pro. Look at me. I'm Jack. I got an angle. I got all types of muscles. Okay, uh, let's try this again, except this time, let's not screw it up. Just gotta aim right here, and... Kobe! Is that a Kobe? Not close. Damn, Shit, frankly, you have got... Quite. He's got quite the baseball arm on you, you know? Mm. There we go. Score. Is that it? Are they tired? That was it. They going out. They're going out. Do you love her? Well, I love her a lot. I just uh, was thinking it was You guys getting sleepy? Like this. I mean, I it's always like 1 p.m. Say, oh. I told them to fix that goddamn AC. Oh, that's right. What's going on? <laughs> go to sleep. Sandman is here. Nighty night. Let's go. That's not sus. <laughs> go, okay. go, go, go! Here we go, boys! Robbery time! <laughs> Steal the jewelry. Uh, 284,000 for one display? I've been able to get you around a minute and a half before the alarm will reset itself. 90 seconds? All right, that's why we pay you what we do. With a window like this, we should be able to strip the joint. Come on. 120 remaining. Holy shit, we're about to clean this entire place out. The rollies? Hell yeah, give me a few of those. Grab it and move. Let's go. 
Dude, $1.9 million? Most of your cut is sitting on the fucking floor. These hands weren't built for delicate work. This is a classy joint. 50 seconds. All right, that's our target. Keep it up, see how much we can get. 40 Dude, seconds. this is a walk We're in the park. We're almost out of here. One more to go. Four point four million dollars? Holy shit! We just cleaned the place out. That was an amazing plan, Lester. For the last time, move it. Make it the fuck out my face. <laughs> you forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. We tried that last time, good. Michael. Go. It's go Didn't time. Didn't work. Stay on me. Across here. Let's go. All right, boys. Let's go. Time to escape. It's hey, not like all of Los Santos wants us right now. No. We just borrowed borrowed a few gems and Rolexes from a jewelry store. We'll bring them back, I promise. I just want to dress up and play rapper for a day. You guys can understand. Holy shit, these cops. Oh, no. No, 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 no! <laughs> Did he crashed his bike, man. That's what happens when you're working with fools. Oh, I got his money. Oh, God. I'm not even worried about the guy. I was worried about the money. Whoa! Careful, Franklin. Yeah. Mm, you don't say. Can we take a moment to mourn our fallen comrade? My man risked it all for a little bit of money, and um, he fell off his bike. He's gonna get all the jail time and none of the reward, none of the pleasure. I guess he was a criminal, right? He had it coming. <laughs> no honor amongst thieves. Thank goodness I picked up his cut, otherwise we would have been screwed. So wait, how's this gonna work? Michael needs half of this in order to pay um, Martin back. So am I keeping half the cut? I'm not sure. Wait, are we driving through a sewer? Or is this like a, uh, a channel for the river? Ah, it is, okay. I was about to say, if this is a sewer, no thank you, I'll leave the money behind. Franklin's supposed to smell good. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, baby case. Yeah, that wasn't a sewer, thank God. <laughs> I'm here, keep driving. Okay, so now we're in the van, and I guess my job is Hang to push there, the cops boys. out of the way. I got bull bars on the truck. I'll hey, get off my buddies. Leave them alone. They're just out riding their bikes. It's not illegal. You're allowed to ride bikes in America. Screw you. What was the plan in going in stealthily if it was just going to end in a massive pursuit? Like we, <laughs> we pretty much wasted our time. We could have skipped the knockout gas and the van. What the hell happened? Man, do crash before he got in the tunnels. Ah, shit! I should have paid for a better gunman. What happened to his part of the score? I managed to pick it up. All right then, good work. My man Franklin, a rookie that knows what he's doing. I like it. F, let's do this. So wait, the cops are just gonna forget about that van now? Is that is that how that works? I get they're stupid, but I mean, come Lester's on, they're not that dumb. waiting for us at the lockup. I mean, maybe they are. The van fits the description. I'm sure the cops have called in, but oh, there's no motorcycles around it, so it can't be that van, no. <laughs> Well, that actually went surprisingly well. We only lost one person. He was an amateur anyway. He had it coming. And oh, uh, Franklin oh, saved I the I was day. Be stuck to that bike. Yeah, I thought you were going to be stuck under a cop car. There got to be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Oh, man. Ha ha! Woo! Ha ha! Fuck! Woo! I might just be able to send my kids to college. It was a good takedown. Here's to the first of many. You're gonna send your That's kids it. to college, huh? Bank. Call your gym guy Lesty Baby, cause we got merchandise. <laughs> Lesty Baby, 
Never call him that again. He might actually touch you inappropriately. Wouldn't put it past him. All right, people. We need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. Man, that shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. He's not such a rookie after all. He did pretty good. So we pulled $4 million. We scored $4.4 million, but Michael needs half of that. Basically, we're gonna have to do a lot more jobs, a lot more jobs. And uh, it's like Darwinism, right? Um, survival of the fittest. Our dumbest person, our weakest link was eliminated. The guy on the bike, so we're good. We know Franklin can hold his own. Oh, and we're at the strip club. I don't care if you got money now. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Are you in a strip club? Grow up, stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh, I I'm gonna change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. Mmm, I bet. <laughs> Nothing says changed quite like walking out of a strip club covered in glitter. Am I right? Okay, so uh, I think now it's time to go meet up with Michael and celebrate our big job. Four million dollars, that's not too bad. I'm still annoyed that we tried to go in the stealthy way. Uh, Lamar, let me guess, you know I made some money. What's up, man? What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. Ha! <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dog. Hey, listen, actually, no. We don't got him anything. I mean, last time I was with Chop, Chop humped the dog while we were on a job. I mean, Chop is just goddamn horny. I don't need a dog like that in my house humping the sofa. It's not even my house. It's my auntie's house. So, I mean, God knows what would happen. One day I hear a scream as I'm in bed sleeping, wake up, run into my auntie's bedroom or something, and then chops in there just going to town on her foot. Um, either way though, uh, let's go down and uh, celebrate with Michael, our first big job done. And, uh, again, it was so annoying that we went to all the trouble of getting a van, getting the knockout gas, only for all of Los Santos to be on our ass the entire time. So why not just go in with our guns, take what we needed, and leave? What was the point in even... Well, I mean, I guess they could have ID'd our face if they were that close, right? Like the personnel inside the jewelry store. So maybe for that reason it was a good idea, but still, I would have gone in loud and proud and probably had the same results, let's be honest. Either way, let's go see uh, what Michael has cooking. Hopefully, it's a lit party. And by lit party, I, I, I mean drugs. I hope there's drugs there. It's been a while since I've done drugs. Only joking, Franklin is clean. He would never, ever touch drugs. Sell them, yes, maybe, but not touch them. He knows exactly what happens when you do drugs. You end up turning into Tanisha, or whatever her name is. Over there acting crazy like she's tripping out on God knows what type of shit. Hey Michael, what's up man? What type of party you got planned? Hopefully not slippers, a bathrobe, and being next to a pool, cause that is not a party, not even close. I'm thinking, uh, strippers, whiskey. Oh, hey, there you are. What's crap? Just whiskey. So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? Davy! Long time no see. Who? And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D O N E fucked! Don't hey, worry <laughs> about Trevor. Trevor's dead. He's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. Nothing. Really? The criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey. rings. 
Albert Story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into him. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I say to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. And this other guy runs out of the shop, he pushes uh, uh, and says something like, you forget thousands of things every day. You make sure this is one of them. That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, that's gonna bite us in the ass. You wanna get lit now, sugar? Oh. Tre Trevor, baby, you wanna you wanna smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it, Trevor. You been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole. Don't do it, Johnny. I told him, Trevor. I told him. We all get high. We all get high. But that don't Leave make it, it right. Johnny. Leave it. The crystal has got us, babe, but don't make it right. Don't make nothing right. Not what you're done with me. I'm telling Johnny, leave it. I ain't leaving nothing. Well, this looks Trevor, like a charming place. I'm talking <laughs> to you, motherfucker. Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Oh, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? <laughs> Is that the problem here? <laughs> oh, what? Your pants, cowboy. All right, let's let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him. Leave it. Leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a method, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh. I don't mean nothing by it, man. I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. This is so weird. <laughs> oh shit! shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! He get saw up. a ghost! Fuck you then! Nah, Johnny's gone! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Fuck. Well then. That escalated quickly. The wheels are in motion. We got to reach out to the rest of them. Oh, he saw a ghost. Ah, Michael, of course. See, Michael, you are an idiot. You're smart, but you're an idiot. Really? You're gonna use your same little catchphrase you used way back in the day during a heist? I mean, come on. By the way, Trevor, um, my man, what drugs have you not done? Because you have no brain cells left at all. You are operating on a pure high. I mean, my God, you just beat this guy to death. And what's worse is you wasted a toothless meth mouth, which, According to Trevor, is the perfect thing to do things with. So, yeah. Also, I love his tattoo. It says cut here. That's kind of clever. If you want to be as scummy, as trashy as possible, <laughs> a tattoo that says cut here will definitely prove your point. Ah, uh, yeah. So, this is the um, trashy side of Los Santos, I'm guessing. I mean, I've played GTA Online. I can recognize it, but I mean, my God. I would rather die a painful death than live somewhere as dumpy as this. I guarantee police officers don't even come down here because of how bad it is. <laughs> hey, listen, don't cry. Don't cry. You really miss your toothless meth mouth boyfriend, huh? I, I, I don't have any teeth either. We can have all types of fun together. She's really torn up. Maybe I should beat her. That might help. There we go. Now you two can be together. <laughs> oh, now I'm just beating a dead body. And she gone. Like the flash. Okay, so we're, we're good, right? We're cool. I mean, you guys just witnessed me murder a human being with my boot. But uh, we're going to pretend like that never happened, right? Stays in the family and shit. All right, man. We're trash, but we got to stick together. That's how that works, right? Meth heads for life, baby. No, no, not good. Fine, just don't say shit or else you'll end up like that Johnny guy. Know what I'm saying? On the bottom of my boot. Go to Grapeseed. All right, all right, well, let's do that. Go to Grapeseed. What a fantastic Wait. community. This ghost I saw, his name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh, my cousin's there, but 
I don't re- Find them! Wade! <laughs> you just mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert, and then quiet down that bitch Ashley you was in, then they don't need to find out about it! You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I, I wasn't disrespecting, I was just saying we should kill her! <laughs> you called her a bitch! Ain't you got a mother? <laughs> Everyone got mothers, at least one. Hmm. I feel like Wade's mother and father were related, as in brother and sister. He's not all right up here where it counts. Ah, <laughs> uh, Wade. Hmm. What a fun place this is. I like how down there is a meth, a, a meth camp, a meth community, and then over here, there's just the normal ass farm. Do the police not care? You could just bomb that little section down there and wipe out all the meth heads. Probably most of the meth labs as well. But, uh, do they do it? No. <laughs> I love how the NPCs are always rambling about something. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move here someday, start a family. I hear the schools here are absolutely We're fantastic. Going up to that farm on the right? That's where they're meant to be. That's where they're meant to be. My name is Wade. Whoa, What's up, whoa, bikers? Whoa, whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messing with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? <laughs> oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient part of you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. <laughs> Bullshit. Oh, I like it. Denial. Trevor's crazy. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? Oh, they're this out. This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. Well, thank you, cowboy! Trevor is completely is psycho. <laughs> this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. The way he just looked down at his boot <laughs> and asked Johnny what he thought about that. Trevor, you are crazy. To the point where you scare people. Band, but we can drop those bikers. What? Did you see the look on their faces? We scared them, didn't we? Yeah, thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are. <laughs> you need some feet belts back here, or straps, or something. I only keep things in the back. I don't mind losing. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. feels bad. <laughs> Holy shit! So that's what drugs do to the brain. This guy's basically the Joker, except a sex left. fiend. Slow it down. And a murderer. Uh, I can't see us taking out all the bikers disco, boss. I mean, there'll be some by that airstrip, and some over, you know, by that... Not today. Their time will soon be upon them. I am a terrible shot. Oh my god! Can someone else shoot? I'm driving the damn vehicle! Please! Help a brother out! I've got dead man brain on my boot. It's kind of hard to think, you know? Well, I mean, it's hard for Johnny to think. I can think well, fine. Except for the meth. That's really if fried my brain. There we go! The there, we should make it across. Alrighty, Ruth. Now we just sit on this guy till he gets to them. Sure, whatever you say, Trevor. It really takes someone extra crazy to scare off hardened criminals. <laughs> but Trevor's done it. Ooh, I wonder what Michael's gonna do when we come face do to face. Do we know where they're going yet? I got a feeling, yeah, but we gotta make sure. Once you know, you could drop me and Wade at the trailer. Maybe bring Chef to finish that. We do this now, Ron, all of us. Come on, come on. Damn, for a van, you're fast. They got a souped up van. What you Where got in that thing, headed? huh? V12? Jesus Christ. Where are the police at when you need them? I'll make my own lost MC colors out of this prick's leather. Really? I gotta taste third bite of blood. Oh, look, look, they're pulling up. You did it, Trevor. They're stopping. Hey, Watch listen, the man. Boys. 
but no one leaves without my express permission. I am so sorry for what's about to happen to your face. Trevor is going to eat them alive. Like, I, I could see a guy like Trevor being a cannibal, honestly, just for the badass image. <laughs> I can't get over the part where he looked down at his shoe and started <laughs> talking to Johnny. <laughs> hey, come here, bitch. You guys are gonna end up at the bottom of my shoe. That's right, or boots. Oh, mission failed, Trevor died. You're a crackhead. You're not supposed to be able to feel pain, Trevor, you pathetic, useless waste of human space. What's the point of being a crackhead if you're not basically invincible? Oh, you useless pricks. Bop, bitch! Mm, later. Anyone else? God, this place is a dump. Who would live here? Well, I suppose if this is the only option when you're a crackhead, it kind of makes sense, right? Away from the law, tons of drugs. Cheap women that bleed from every single hole. <laughs> Not knocking this lifestyle. You have the chance to do whatever you want with your life, baby. Okay. You're an organ donor. You forget how to use your horn. Bye, bitch. Oh. <laughs> I never look at explosions. Bop. Mm. For a crackhead, I'm a pretty good shot. I'll warn you the same. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be that brave. One moment. Mm. There we go. Thank God, when you're a bad shot, the game gives you aim assist. I don't even have to aim. It just does it for me. Oh, that is beautiful. Bop, bitch! See you in hell! <laughs> oh, oh, don't look at the explosion. Ah, oh, too late, Trevor. You missed your badass moment. You're not supposed to look at explosions. Boom! Oh wait, I'm basically killing my business assuming I run a meth lab. Or something far worse, PCP. Mm. Come on out! I promise I'm a very sane individual and I would never hurt you. Never, never would dream of it. Come on out, buddy! Oh my god, I'm such a bad shot. You know, it's actually kind of embarrassing. You're allowing one crackhead to wipe out an entire biker gang. Your pain, friends. I'm here to offer a way out. Hey, come on. We're just getting started. Oh, you're offering a way out. What, death? I mean, I guess that's technically a way out, but uh, probably not the way out they want. Let's just go around here. And, oh wait, is he gone? I think they're, they're gone. Well, I'm just gonna steal her bike then, cowards. Jesus Christ, Trevor actually killed an entire community of bikers. Thanks for all your help there, fellas. Now get back in the truck. <laughs> now get back in the truck. Trevor in a different life where he's not a crackhead sex fiend. What are you still doing here? You said? I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? Oh, yeah, pick me up some sticky bombs. In a different life where he's not a crackhead, he would be an amazing drill sergeant for the military. And his face is also covered in blood. Go to the Riverside trailer. All right, shouldn't be too difficult. I can't believe Ortega they actually- lives near here, let's go see him. It's one thing messing with tweaked out bikers, but the Aztecas, man. The Aztecas, it's just a name. Is he Illuminati as well? And a wacky, huh? One of those lizard people? I got this Chinese contact you can meet at the end. He'll buy all the meth we can cook. Our enterprise ain't just about meth. It's about guns too. The Aztecas control the guns, so we're taking them out. I mean, seems logical, I, I guess. <laughs> What's happening there? Trevor? Shit. No, 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 no. What? You scared? Oh, wait, I'm supposed to ram his trailer? Push the trailer into the river. Bro, you had plenty of time. Plenty of time to jump out. Oh, what a dump. I can't get over it. 
Oh, oh, he jumped. What the fuck, Trevor? This is the fuck, my soggy friend. You are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Saying something don't make it true. No! Uh, threaten Ortega. You're out of business, my friend. I always let you operate. I didn't have to. Think I mean, about it. I thought you was crazy, man, not stupid. <laughs> is I there don't a like difference? The way he's looking at me. The Aztecas is an international enterprise. Oh, really? You an sure enterprise. You do this? We was always cool. Oh, always cool. Well, we're definitely not cool now because I slaughtered all your boys. They're going to green light you after this. Mm, are they now? I mean, who's going to green light me because I've killed everyone? It. The shot callers ain't going to be happy. Am I supposed to shoot this guy? Think about it. I'll go away, man. But my people. You do realize you're digging like yourself into a grave. I always let you operate. Okay, well, he just wouldn't shut up. I guess he don't run nothing no more. I'm not too sure about Wade. For some reason, I have this bad feeling he's actually like an undercover cop that's playing an now, inbred vegetable. Right? Just so Trevor thinks there's someone out there dumber than him. You're a cop, aren't you? You, you have to be a cop. You're 100% a cop undercover. You know, Wade, if you're a cop, you've got to tell me. By law. It's definitely not true. I'm going to keep my eyes on you. You seem a little sus. Just a little this sus. This is an unprecedented turn of events. I always said I was going to take over. <laughs> People say all kinds of stuff when they're three days into a smoking party. You calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clearly not. No way. You're a man of your word, as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. <laughs> Understood. Yes, sir. I'm if I so say sorry. I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am. I'm not gonna raise my balding head on a beach in 10 years time saying, all is well. Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking Townley, yes it is. <laughs> well, you told me about him, your old running buddy. And who is the other one? Brad was the other one. He's locked up in a federal penitentiary. When he finds out Michael survived that job. Yeah. What do you think happened? I knew what happened. I wouldn't be bemoaning these last 10 years I've spent in ignorance. Some say ignorance is bliss. For a man with an interest, some may say obsession, with the secret truth kept hidden behind historical events, that's a really weird thing to say. I was trying to console you. I don't need consolation. I need answers from that fat chump. Okay, so I'm guessing Wade's not the one that sounds like he's got some screws loose, or maybe it is, I don't, I don't know. Who's my sidekick? Is that Wade, or is that someone else? All I know is I've got a lot of idiots working for me. And uh, Trevor is just all types of insane. I would love to find out who the voice actor is for Trevor, because he does a great job of sounding completely insane. <laughs> and I love it, love it. Uh, okay, so we're almost there. And, um, I, I mean, we literally have taken over the entire area. If the MC biker gang runs this side of town and I just took out half the gang, then that means I am the gang now, right? <laughs> they couldn't have been very good if it took one meth head to kill them all. I mean, come on, seriously? Not much of a gang. Or maybe Trevor's just actually that brain dead that somehow his plan floor, worked. Ron. Any time to think. That's Ron, okay. Run! Really? <laughs> this is Trevor's safe house. You can save vehicles by parking in the garage. You can modify your vehicle at any Los Santos Customs garage. All right. Ooh. Now this is a nice pad. <laughs> the TV smashed in. Okay, he's taking a piss. And what, the sink? Wouldn't put it past him. My God, what a dump! Wash your hands! 
What am I saying? This guy hasn't had a bath in probably who knows how long. Oh, this is real nice. My mama would be super proud of me. She always thought I was uh, capable of so much. And I did it. I, I actually amounted to something. A meth head that lives in a dump. Good God. Oh, Ron. Speak. You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. What, what, what just happened? You're gonna have to discipline him? Is he, is he your son? Uh, no, he's, he's definitely not our son, but why are you acting like he's your son? <laughs> oh, let's just take a moment to soak in Trevor's beautiful apartment. I like how everything is smashed. His phone, his TV, he's got tons of uh, very sexy posters up. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Do you even watch TV? Why bother having a TV if it's smashed in? Yes, sir, my mom would be proud of me. Good thing I don't have any guests over because who knows where and when I've shit myself. I'm sure it's probably smeared all over the place. Woo! Okay, so I'm gonna leave it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, that's an introduction to Trevor. We just did a job with Michael. We earned a bunch of money. And who knows what's gonna happen when Trevor catches up to Michael. I mean, you guys probably know because everyone on Earth has played this game except for your boy, but still. I am gonna clean my house up. I am just so disgusted by Trevor's house. I mean, honestly, outside is cleaner than in here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace out.